don't watch the World Cup. Waste of your time, not worth it. I know some people actually might not watch the World Cup for political reasons. Hey, I'm staying out of that. I'm just saying you shouldn't watch the World Cup because it's a waste of your time. Psych! It is not. What you should do if you are going to watch the World Cup is figure out a way to make these games meaning for you. Which means, instead of zooming out and enjoying the spectacle, all of the games, the show, all the stuff going on, zoom in. Take this time to zoom in on a player specifically and watch this player. Figure out what is he doing specifically on the field. Watch him as he moves off the ball, all right? These are the things that are gonna make you better as a player. You're going to zoom in and watch all of the good stuff. As a matter of fact, what you can do is watch how this guy reacts to changes in the game. You need to be able to see as you're watching them move off the ball, do this stuff. As a goal happens, what, what do they do? What happens when they miss one pass, two pass, three passes? How do they react? If you zoom in on a player, you're going to learn more about this player, which is in turn what you can do for yourself when you are in those positions in the game, all right? So if you love Neymar, figure out, great, I love the style, I love how he moves, I love the way that he plays. How is he setting himself up to humiliate a guy in the corner? How has he set himself up to score? How many shots does he have moving in this part of the field? That's what you need to do, all right? So zoom in on the players and figure out a way to actually make this worth your time, other than the spectacle. We're not saying you're gonna enjoy it, you will, but you can always do more. One of the most important things for you to figure out as a player is who you're watching. Do they have an impact on the game? And you guys, some of you guys aren't gonna be watching people like Neymar. Others of you guys might be watching people like Busquets, you know, or holding midfielders, defenders. If you're watching a goalie, you're crazy. All goalies are crazy. And most of the time, you don't even have to look at what they're doing when the ball's not there. They're eating Cheetos and snacks and they're talking to themselves. Goalies are weird, okay? If you are watching a holding midfielder, let's just take Busquets for the example, you might watch him now closely and notice that the guy has a 99.9% .9 pass completion percentage. He's always making his passes. They don't go anywhere, all right? So when you've watched him this closely, you'll start to notice how does he turn? How is he doing this? When you start to dissect that and only watch really closely what he's doing off the ball to make sure he's always getting those passes in, you're gonna change your game because you're gonna have a different focus. The problem is right now, when you watch the game, you watch everything. And watching everything means you're watching nothing. Figure out who you want to emulate. Figure out who is important to you, important to your position. And by doing that, you will have cut out all of the nonsense to figure out a way to make yourself better as a player. And of course, enjoy the World Cup. We're not saying you shouldn't. We're just saying that this time, USA is going to win the World Cup. I couldn't even, I couldn't, I could I Hey, listen. Anything's possible, it's the World Cup, okay? My other half, Nigeria could even win the World Cup and they're not even there, okay? Don't give me that look. I know what you're waiting for, ah, a little crossbar action. We got one right there. Yeah, uh, we'll, uh, we'll angle the cam out for you right here. There's actually absolutely no way I could miss this. It's a crossbar of epic proportions. I'm gonna do it without looking at the crossbar. Let me just judge and do the math. Carry that one. <laughs> See you later.